radical expressions. Let us learn how to express the radicals as mixed radical. Well, that is a very important step when we need to simplify radical expressions. So we have square root of 32. Now the idea is to break 32 into its factors so that some of them are perfect squares. Now 32 can be written as 16 times 2, that is 32. 16 is a perfect square of 4 and therefore I can write this as 4 square root 2. So that is how I can convert this radical into a mixed radical. Do you see the technique? Let's apply it once again. This time on square root of 75. Now square root of 75 can be written as 25 into 3, right? 25 is a perfect square. That's why we chose 25. 25 into 3 is 75. Square root of 25 is 5. So we get 5 square root 3. Now let's look into square root of 200. 200 can be written as 2 times 100, correct? 100 is a perfect square. We could write this as 10 square, right? Therefore, 10 square root 2 is how we are going to write it as a mixed radical. How about 108? Well, 108 is 12 times 9. 12 times 9 is 108. But I can still write 12 as 4 times 3, right? So I can write this as 4 times 3 and we already have 9. As you can see here, 4 is a perfect square, 9 is a perfect square. 4 is 2 square, right? And 9 is 3 square. So we can write this as 2 outside times 3 for 9 square root of 3, right? Which is as good as 6 square root of 3. So that is how you can write 108 as square root of 108 as a mixed radical 6 square root of 3. I hope you appreciate the technique. The idea is to factor the number and find perfect squares. Thank you.